Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Damani Lewis. I'm Erica Bryant. Tonight, if you want to get the COVID-19 booster shot, you now have three options. Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson are all on the market. Also, it will be up to you to decide if you want to get a different brand than the one you originally got. All right, let's face it, you have a lot of questions surrounding these booster shots. Are you eligible? How long do you have to wait to get one? And where can you go right now to get it? Channel 9's Mark Becker is joining us live, answering many of those questions. Mark, what did you find out? Well, you can't come here right now because this uh, clinic on Tuckasegee Road, Star Med Clinic, just closed up at 6 o'clock, but there are plenty of others that will be open probably first thing in the morning. It depends site by site. They actually told us they saw quite a bump up today in traffic, though, since the uh, CDC cleared the way for all three vaccines, and that is news that many had been waiting for. Roscoe Dunlap proudly held up his CDC card cataloging his first two doses of the vaccine, and there was never any doubt, he says, that he'd be lining up for the booster when he was eligible. That's why I got my first two shots. I can bleed in it, you know, and I need it. This star med has had a steady stream of cars coming through their vaccine line, a bump up in business since the CDC opened the way for more people to get their COVID booster shots. At least a good 40, 50 percent of them right now are getting like boosters and such. It's hard not to be encouraged. Dr. Meg Sullivan, Mecklenburg County's medical director, says getting more people in line for boosters can only help keep the numbers of COVID infections here dropping. The CDC says that anyone who had a Pfizer or Moderna vaccine and is over 65 or has underlying medical conditions or lives or works in high-risk settings are now eligible for a booster. If you got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and are over 18, you're also eligible now. But the reality is the door could be open to even more people. Are we turning anyone away? So we are really, again, and based on right up until uh, yesterday's announcement, it's been just Pfizer, but it's really based on self-attestation. In other words, you're on your honor. The Mecklenburg County Health Department has three locations open. StarMed has seven more, including this one on Tuckasee G Road, where we also found many coming today for their first or second COVID shots, including Brian Hunter, who owns a small business here. And just did it to protect family and employees and yeah. everybody else. Yeah. And so while we're talking about boosters today, the medical director here says it's important that we get more people to get that first and second shot. And these vaccine clinics will do all three shots if you need them. Erica? Okay, Mark, thank you for all those details. I want to let viewers know as well that you can find a full booster shot breakdown on our WSOC TV News app. All you have to do is log on, enter your zip code, and you can find out when and where you can get your shot.